Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to be butchering some of our Red Rangers. They are a little bit over 11 weeks at this point, and we're hoping to harvest some of the bigger ones today. Uh, so we're gonna go weigh them out, figure out which ones would be about the size that we want post-processing, and see how many we wanna do today. But first, let me show you our butchering setup. We have three kill cones over here with some buckets to catch the blood. Uh, we lined these because our butchering mentor told us that we would regret it if we didn't, so <laughs> we're gonna listen to him. Uh, after the cones and the bucket, we have the scalder set up with a propane tank. Um, we haven't quite heated this up yet, but we'll get that going. Then we have our industrial plucker that we borrowed. Uh, that we rented from our mentor. And I will leave you guys the contact information to rent this plucker if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I'll leave his email down in the description below for you guys. He is a little bit west of Asheville, so if that's convenient to you, definitely reach out. We have our coolers filled with ice and our butchering station. This is just a metal table with some cutting boards, knives, scissors, a good old trash bag. We won't be getting too detailed with what we're showing you guys today. Uh, for one, YouTube's not really a fan of the content, and for two, we are newbies. We are still learning, and so we don't want to teach you guys anything or show you guys that would be wrong or confuse you. So, no tutorials today. Let's see how big you are, sir. Come here. Eight point two five, but I didn't tear this. So he's one point seven. So it's eight point two five minus one point seven. I have no idea. Eight point two five minus one point seven. Six point five five. And we said anything over six we could butcher right. Yeah. So let's double check. Yep, like 6.5. Perfect. Alright. Okay, take him over there. I guess. Alright. All right, so we did six birds today. That's as many as we could find that were the weight that we wanted them to be at in order to butcher them. So we still have plenty left and we are about to move them to another section because it is time for them to move. Oh my God, savages.
last thing that we have to do today is to package up the chickens that we did harvest today in some shrink wrap bags. Uh, we'll probably stick two in the fridge for this week and the others in the freezer. And we'll have our first taste of homegrown chicken. That will be very exciting. What do you think they're gonna weigh? Like four pounds, maybe four and a half. I think our lightest bird will be four. And I think we might get four and a half, maybe if we're lucky. Let's right. find out. First bird is hey, four point three and five eighths. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Next bird is. The same, exactly the same. Four pounds, three ounces? Yep. Next bird is... Did you listen to it? Oh, 3.14159. Three pounds and how many ounces? Three, point, three pounds and 14 ounces. Okay, that's almost four pounds. Yeah. Okay, next bird is four pounds, one ounce. I'll take it. Next bud, 4.3. Pretty consistent with that. Four pounds, three ounces. Whatever. Last bird of the day. Let's see what we got. Oh, this one's a big one. Four pounds, eight ounces. Nice. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That means that we are getting like 71%. Um, so the harvested weight is 70-ish percent of the live weight. And we were working with an estimation of 70%. So our numbers are pretty spot on. That's, that's pretty much what we expected. It is a little bit hard to weigh the birds in the bucket. <laughs> so if anywhere, that's where our margin of error was. They just move around so much that you just try to grab a number if you can. We have a mess to clean up and chickens to get in the fridge before we lose light. So I will see you guys next time.